Okay, hear me out, guys. We're going to be talking about the number one thing that pro players do in Modern Warfare. And this is a very, very important tip. Very. Apathy. That is me, Tony. That's correct. I am a father now. I'm a dad. Three-month-old baby. Kill you. Kind of hill is going to chow me. Three, two, one. Slide cancel. There's another one. Oh, what? That's my teammate. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm blind. No, I got shot on my back. That's shocked. All right, guys. So the thing is, man, this is a huge tip. Okay. 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 Relax. This is a really huge tip. And this is something I've been meaning to want to talk about for a while now. Like, I've been wanting to make a video on this for a long, long time. Like, I've been wanting to make this video because this is, like, such an important tip that I feel like a lot of players should know and probably try to execute when they can. Kobe. So, the number one thing that pro players tend to do, and this can, you can go really in-depth with this, but the number one thing is players love to be aggressive. Pro players, matter of fact, love to be aggressive. And it's not just, like, random aggression where... Sometimes it is. Like, CDL play this, I can say it is. But it's not always just random aggression where we're like, yeah, let's just... I want more kills. Let's just rush, get the most kills. It's not always that. Sometimes it's just literally, it's about getting map positioning. It's about getting map control and possibly winning gunfights. It, there's more to it than just simply, you know, just getting more kills. That's the thing. And a lot of players seem to not understand that. This is a really big reason why being aggressive is really good in Call of Duty in general, but it's also really important in Modern Warfare. So there's a thing here. One, you don't get punished for squad spawns. You can literally push out, be aggressive on cuts uh, sp off spawn, and you're just going to spawn right in the back. So you, you're you able to get more map control, more pressure on the map, and then you get to be aggressive right after. So that's like very important when it comes to being aggressive. So you can see I'm being aggressive here, being aggressive on a cut. My teammate's pushed out. He's going to keep spawning them there. Kill us, guys. Another guy here. Jump shot. Should be another one here. Okay, actually dropped my MP5. Didn't mean to do that. So right now I'm spawning them deep. Um, they're actually gonna cut cold plat, kill my whole. Yo, that might. That's, that. It is me. It is the one and only Apathy. But you can see I'm being really aggressive on a cut. Cause even if I die, I spawn in the back. And guess what? I put pressure on my team. I put pressure not on my team. I put pressure on the map. It, it relieves pressure on my team. It makes the map easier for them, for everybody. So that's why being aggressive is really important. That's the one part about it. There's no punishment. You can be aggressive. It's You rarely ever get punished. And it's, it's just a foot race about aggression. It's a foot race, you know, to who can put the most pressure, who can be annoying on the map, who can be a nuisance, and just make it harder for the other team to push the hill or even challenge the hill. If you're pushing a cut very aggressively, then the team can't even get to the hill. Like, for example, that guy in the bathrooms right now, He's, th these guys can't even touch the hill. Look at me. I'm being aggressive on the cut. I'm pushing up, forcing these guys off spawn before they can even get to the hill. They actually have to challenge me first. And they're actually, I think, trying to rotate. These guys are going really hard. So we managed to get the lead back. So yeah, guys, just, there's just no punishment when it comes to this thing. I'm um, going to on the side. Where's my teammates? Are just going to sit there boxes or are they going to help me? Oh, this is Okay, let's go, teammate. Damn it! So pro players abuse the fact that one, you rarely get punished, especially in modern warfare. It's hard to get punished. I just got smoked. So you're able to stay aggressive in lanes, able to stay aggressive in cuts, and it's actually a good play than a bad play. Like in past Call of Duties, um, some some Call of Duties, you know, it might have been a bad play. Like sometimes it will hurt you more than it'll help you. But in modern warfare, it is okay to be aggressive in cuts. And, and just die and spawn up and spawn close because the squad spawn or whatever the case is it's okay like it's actually it's actually okay so don't be afraid so, you know especially when you have a rotation um there's very very so there's certain hills when it's bad and there's certain situations when it's it's there's very little situations where it, it's okay and where it's not a problem but um overall you want to be aggressive on the map you want to push out cuts that's what pro players do all the time it's the best play possible you don't want to be don't be a camper you know, you you help your team win by pushing out. Like, look at me. Look at me. Look where I'm going right now. I'm literally running down to respond. Why? Because I can actually do this. I get to survive. Well, I did for a second. So, yes, guys. Be aggressive. Be a nuisance. And put pressure on the map. It's not only about securing kills. Sometimes, like, that's why pros talk about all the time. Like, if you, if you have a 1.4 KD, right? Like, you didn't play really well that map. But if you went... Let's say you went, what's a good number? 35 and 23. Nice. Those stats are phenomenal. But if your sub player went like 40 and 40, he had a 1.0 KD, but he went 40 and 40. That's 80 engagements. 
That is so much gunfights. That is really, really good. Is it as good as a 1.4 KD or 1.3 KD? Maybe not. But it's damn close to being like that important, that effective. Oh my god, I'm not even focused. Damn it. So yes, when KD matters, kills do matter. But be aggressive too, guys. Please don't be that teammate that doesn't really help, doesn't really do anything for a team. Be effective. Be something. Another reason why being aggressive is so good is because you can push out spawns and you can be aggressive and it can catch people off guard. That's why it's so good. It's not always about like, like, I don't know if you ever watch pros play, but like when you're pushing out spawns, when you're being aggressive, you're being super aggressive, you're spawn killing or just like in their face. A lot of the times, like you are basically catching them off guard, even in 1v1 gunfights. Like that's why being aggressive is so good. And that's why pro players are really in your face most of the time and challenging you. Unless you're an AR player. That's when, like, sometimes they might be slow. Sometimes they might hold. But, you know, not always, man. If you ever see me get pieces, um, most of the time, most of the time, not all the time, but when I get, like, a three-piece or a four-piece, like, I'll get, like, two or three kills, and the third guy will just be kind of caught off guard. Like, the third guy always just gets, like, caught off guard. That's the three-piece right there. Four-piece. Five piece. Come on, man. You're not entertained. Drop that light. How are these guys like constantly in respond? It's actually trying to piss me off. Uh, Jesus, man. Like whenever I'm piecing, usually like my third kill, fourth guy, like you got to think about it. Once you get like two kills, you're usually weak, right? You're one shot. You know, those out of two guys, there's a good chance. It's not every time, but there's a high chance they got you weak, right? And the third guy, fourth guy, like the only way you're going to kill them most of the time the most time, the only way you're going to kill them most of the time, not every time, is by catching them off guard. Being aggressive. Get in their face and just catch them off guard. And it works most of the time. Not every time. Like I said, most of the time. I have these more shots. I have these more shots. I have the SPD two kills. I don't know what he's doing. And with camering in this game, you know, obviously camera's really effective. I probably shouldn't be hitting this, but I'm going to hit it either way. Because we already probably lost this game. And you can tell, like, this team is doing really good. Like, the opposite team, they're doing good. Uh, I mean, they're obviously four of them are in a party. Uh, they're probably calming and stuff. But they're doing a good job of just, like, going to the objective, being aggressive, challenging stuff together, and, you know, just be, like, making their life useful, you know, instead of waste, waste, wasteless. Oh, my God, green, green, top, yellow, top, red, top, eskies. Get them off the hill. There's three of you guys there, and they're about to win. Makes no sense. Are you guys in a land environment? You guys all sound together. Oh, these guys are landing together. Like, that's passion right there. Tony, I appreciate the two two minutes, 15 seconds. I guess, Biz, you know you did your thing. All right, guys. So, we got some St. Petrograd here. This is a perfect map where I can show the aggression. And this is just another stuff to add on. Like, showing you why map control and being aggressive on the map is so important. This is a perfect time for me to show you and demonstrate it. So hopefully we could get some kills here. So nothing here. Slide down the stairs. They should all spawn here. Now they're gonna spawn in the middle. Yeah, he's a sound hornet. God, he's cracked. But he's dead. He's cracked that. Oh, there's another one in front of me. What the hell? It's, you guys, <laughs> chat. You guys aren't telling me anything. Like I know you guys have YouTube comments and stuff. You can say, "Yo, app, he's there." So right here, gonna get some sort of map control. I'm just gonna hold the P1 cut. Sometimes they like to spawn P1. I'm just making sure. Okay, well, I completely choked my shots. I mentioned it before, but I do got a little thumb injury right now. So it's like hindering me a bit sometimes, but I'm just kind of trying to play through it right now. Um, there's a guy in the back that's completely fine. Honestly, let him be in the back at this point. Uh, I'm just making sure we hold court control. That way we can keep holding the time. My team is going to die. Oh, guy behind us. Um, good example right here. I'm going to push out P1. Why? I blocked the P1 spawn. This is a spawn, but since I'm here, I'm blocking it. Now we have even more map control. We have P1 control. We have the back. We have the hill. These guys are not even going to know I'm here. I'm going to wrap back to the hill. Obviously, once my teammates spawn P1, that's a signal that they're either water or in the back because my teammates should not usually spawn P1 on me. Those are like the two main spawns, P1 and the back. And like the back. But since my teammate spawns in the back now, Oh, there's a the guy in the back. There he is. I, I figured he was going to come in sooner or later. So map control and map positioning. Um... It's just really good for two reasons, like I said. One, it helps you secure kills. You put yourself in a better position to get more kills. Because depending on the positioning on the map, well, that's depending on like how, how things are going to end for you, right? Like, for example, the hotel play I did earlier, I could have sat in the hill 
I'm, I'm gonna go back just to show you guys because we're smoking these guys. So the hotel play here. I could have just sat here. I could have sat in the hill, just took time. Or I could have sat right here. Instead of what I did, I pushed up all the way to the door. A corner where I know they're not gonna check most of the time. They're gonna run by and I got a free kill. And that's why map positioning and just pushing yourself and getting more map control is really essential to getting more kills. A lot of people, you know, tell me like, I shoot straight, I'm good at getting kills, but I still do bad on the map. I'm still going negative. I'm still not doing as good as I could be. And yes, that is probably because you're not putting yourself in better position to get more kills or to do better. If you're not putting yourself in those positions, you're just not going to get more kills. Um, and the thing is about pressure and like map control, as I was saying earlier, is like these guys got to kill me before they can even get to the hill. So they have to get through me first. And that's just about putting more pressure on the map, making it easier for your team. That's how teams and pro teams secure a lot of times on some of these hills. It's the pressure they put around the hill and that makes the other team impossible to get to. And then they just, they basically lose, they get 60 or they lose all the time. And it is what it is. So a lot of times when it comes to breaking or even holding hills, map control and being aggressive on cuts is very, very important. And sometimes when you watch pro players, Okay, I just choked some shots. Sometimes when you watch pro players, you like, you kind of watch us just play, right? We're just like kind of cruising. We're moving around the map. We're pushing up. We're just kind of challenging everything. And sometimes, you know what? Especially in like CDL playlists. Yeah, it's it's maybe not thought, thought, like thought through, right? I'm going to turn around. Get the two guys off spawn. They're spawning probably blue court here because I'm blocking the water spawn. My team's are spawning, blocking the pool spawn. So they're going to spawn court or P1. Blocking the water spawn. So, but back to what I was saying. Basically, like, so you you watch us run around. Like, sometimes, yeah, we are just being aggressive. CDL playlists, we tend to do that a lot. You know, I just kind of run around and gun. Uh, obviously, sometimes I, I attempt to make good plays and, like, break kills, like, the right way. Because you kind of just want to mess up your, your thought process and kind of build better habits. But sometimes, you know, I do run around. But other times, like, I'm actually pushing stuff out. I'm actually pushing out the right cuts. I'm actually doing the right thing. And you guys, and that's why being aggressive is so good. You can see it in my gameplay. You can see what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, you know? It's got a spawn. The shot's a little off. I'm telling you, my thumb is actually messing me up a bit, but it's okay. So doing pretty well right now. I'm going to trust my teammates. So this is like a perfect example, too. Like, my teammates are getting the kills. Instead of helping my teammates get a, a kill that I know they can get, I'm just going to stay pushed out. And I'm going to keep this mid-map pressure. They have to kill me before they can even get to the hill. The guys has no, this has no uh, aim assist. Now they have to kill me before they look. They can't even get to the hill because they're worried about me. And now what am I going to do here? I'm going to push through. Why is it such a good play? Because my teammates are spawn trapped in the back. If I could flip my teammates right here, this is a great A play right here. So I'm going to stay pushed through. Look look where my teammates just spawned. Look where he just spawned. He spawned water. Bam. They're flipped through. Now they're spawning in the back. We won before we could do anything else. But that's why being aggressive and pushing through is so good. Hey, Channel, sir, that hit that regain, baby. What what I always say, drop that like, baby. Come on, man. Like all these things that I talk to you guys about, you know, about map control, about pressure, pushing up. Like there's three reasons why being aggressive, and this is why pro players do it so much. It's really good. One, uh, map control. Getting map control is so good for many reasons. I'll explain many reasons for flipping out, for, you know, for them, like for blocking spawns, you know, etc. Uh, being aggressive is also really good for getting kills and secure more kills. You put yourself in a better position. You catch people off guard. You know, these are really important things. And the last thing, of course, like other than putting the put, pushing around and being aggressive for getting more map control, for blocking spawns, for flipping people out, you also put a lot of pressure on the map and you put a lot of pressure on the players. And there's no punishment, right? Like you can have a full rotation. You can have a good setup. You can be the guy in the front line. It's fine if you die. If you get a kill and die or two kills and die, that's perfect. They had to kill you before they could even get to the hill. And that's why it's like, it's good. So guys, this was the number one tip video for that pro players like to do and that pro players do in Modern Warfare. I went really in depth as much as I can during the two maps, trying to explain to you guys what I'm doing, why I'm doing it and why being aggressive and why pro players are usually more aggressive on the map, especially the sub players. AR players can be aggressive as well. Don't get me wrong, but sub players mainly or the flex players are used, tend to be a little bit more aggressive for all those reasons that I said. This is very, very important. If you really paid attention and looked at why it's important and see like how like you can just tell what I was doing on the map, right? Like I couldn't explain it and show it every time because I have to get in some of these situations. But like just being in a situation where I'm pushed up, I'm getting kills. They can't even touch, touch the hill. They can't even touch it. They can't even shoot someone on the hill before they have to kill me. Like that's how good and effective it can be. So 
Hopefully you guys learned something, man. Make sure to drop that like, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more tip videos and gameplays. Comment down below if you want me to do some more of these tip videos. I'm thinking about, you know, obviously doing some more tips and stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.